I'm gonna drive the entire United Arab Emirates in 24 hours. Is it possible? The United Arab Emirates, or the UAE for short, is a country in the Middle East known for the Emirates airline, Dubai, Tom Cruise, and Vin Diesel. The size of the UAE is about half the size of Florida. I'm starting this challenge from Dubai, known for its towering skyscrapers, including the tallest tower in the world, Burj Khalifa. To complete this challenge, I know I will need some help, so I'm going to a gas station to meet my friend, Yabo. Brother. Introducing Yavor from Bulgaria. He's a successful entrepreneur, he works out every day, and he loves ice cream. He's one of my closest friends, and I helped him make videos for his brands at Rose Tulips Amsterdam as well as Pirate Tea. The important part of our trip is to evaluate which Emirates has the best prices for petrol and in general in UE. So we're gonna put 100 dirhams, which is approximately $25, in each Emirate to see. Uh, which prices are the best. Can we have 100, please? Perfect. Yes, thank you very much. At the time of filming this video, one gallon was about 3.6 US dollars. Now, at the time of editing, it's 4.15 US dollars per gallon. Grand total of 28.169 liters in Dubai for 100 dirhams. Let's see in the other Emirates, huh? It's 9.30 and we hit the road. We take the highway straight towards Abu Dhabi, which will be our second Emirate of the day. Another interesting fact is that Abu Dhabi is the capital city of United Arab Emirates. So we're just exiting Dubai right now, heading to Abu Dhabi. Remember, the mission of this video is to go to every single Emirates, and there's seven of them. Today. We're gonna see all of them in one video, in one day! It's gonna be pretty dark by the time we get back, but uh, hopefully we can show them all in a good light. Yeah. Abu Dhabi, baby! Abu Dhabi is, of course, very famous for the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. This impressive mosque is designed to accommodate over 40,000 worshippers at any given time. In terms of the mosque, it's quite cool to drive through one of these. The entrance to the Grand Mosque goes through an underground path that actually is a mall. They got everything here, Starbucks, Papa John's, McDonald's, while it's kind of funny to imagine that McDonald's is at the entrance of a mosque, it kind of makes sense when you realize how many people come through here, especially with big families. You go to the mosque, why not pick up some protein while you're at it? We didn't actually enter the mosque because we need to continue on our adventure. First gas station in Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi, we're gonna see how much we pay for our petrol. 100 dirhams in Abu Dhabi. Let's see how much we get for that. How much we gonna do? In Abu Dhabi, 100 dirhams get us two liters extra more. Exactly two liters. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling pretty hungry, so I looked around the gas station for something to eat. Picked up some uh, protein bars, barbell. All right, we're getting ready to hit the road for Al Ain. We're gonna fuel up with some uh, pirate tea. So what is pirate tea? Pirate tea is a natural energy drink that vitalizes your mind and body naturally. It based on 22 herbs from six continents. And I believe the best way that I can describe it to the people is, if I can say Red Bull, but natural. The flavor of pirate tea is orange peppermint. Pirate tea is the only drink that combines all these ingredients together in order to deliver that boost that you need. We are low on caffeine, which also allows pirate tea to be drinking during the entire day without affecting your sleep. Now on this long challenge that it's gonna be more than 10 hours driving, it's gonna be another test of the qualities. <laughs> this drink is delicious. Check it out, piratee.com. Piratee.com, you'll see videos that I made actually. So all the videos are made by John. Actually, that's true, all the videos are made by me. So if you like uh, how the videos look like, this is the person responsible about it. <laughs> Now at this point in our journey, we actually confused Al Ain as a separate emirate, but actually it's just a city within Abu Dhabi. But still, it's very important for us to go to Al Ain because it completes our trip around the UAE in a very neat circle. All right, so now it's 12, 13, it's 41 degrees outside. All right, so we made it to Al Ain, finally. One thing I can say for sure is that the infrastructure in all of the emirates are top notch, clean roads. We drive past the Al Ain Palace Museum, just to see it from the outside. Oh. Two by 50. Oh, these are the new bills? Yeah, these are the new bills. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Now, of course, the gas price is the same as Abu Dhabi because we're still in Abu Dhabi. What would an adventure in the United Arab Emirates be without eating Arabic food? We're getting very hungry and we decided to go to an authentic Arabic food place. It's, it's, it's so authentic. How do you find this place? I found it in Google. Google? Yeah, I was so excited about the trip, so I had to search for traditional Arabic places where we can have food when we are on the road. It has cannons, it has camels. Here I am, being a five-year-old. I hope the food is good too. Man, this place is super authentic. It's like super old style, but still the menu is like high-tech touchscreen stuff. <laughs> it's quite the contrast. Man, it's like 34 pages of just like delicious food. We are very hungry boys, so maybe the mixed grill is what to go is for. A, is a potential. So how far have we gone? We started our trip in Burj Khalifa, Dubai. Then we went to Abu Dhabi Grand Mosque. Now we are in LA here. From here, we go to city center for there. We've covered a lot of ground already. Yeah, we covered quite, quite, quite a lot. Yeah. Ah, the main meal. Oh, mama. We enjoyed a massive feast to fuel the rest of the trip. The car must be fuming now, it must be so hot. Now when the outside temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit, the inside of the car is gonna be so hot. What's the temperature inside? Oh jeez, it's hot. Even just standing here, I feel it. It's just 40. If you leave your car anywhere in the UAE for a long enough time, when you come back to it, it's gonna be steaming. approximately one hour in the city center of Fujairah. Driving here, it's, uh, it's so conducive to conversation. When you're sitting face to face with a person, just looking into their eyes and talking, it's kind of intense. Like sitting side by side instead and driving and going somewhere, having like a goal, it's very conducive to conversation. Makes me realize I should do more road trips in my life in general. We should do more road trips in UAE and maybe outside of UAE. We could go to Qatar, we could go to Saudi. Yeah, that could be maybe our next road trip. Future video driving from UAE to Saudi Arabia. On the road to Fujairah, we noticed that there are barely any cars to be seen on the road. Do you think somebody is like in charge of like cleaning up the roads after sand? I wins. think that there is a cleaning service for sure, but uh, I'm not sure how regular is it. Mm -hmm. But definitely there is a cleaning service, 100%. Yeah, because like the, the sand is just blowing all over the over the roads here. We spotted a few camels from <laughs> from so the road. Far. We decided to go off road to just to go and say hi. What's uh, an off road adventure if you don't stop and say hi to the local wildlife? So their legs are chained together, which makes them not able to run, I guess. Oh yeah, he's, he's having a bit of a back rub on the tree there. Do you, uh, do you think they're friendly if we go out and say hi to them? Yeah. What, are you gonna feed him pirate tea? Is that the plan? Yeah. <laughs> Camel pirate tea. I like the way he's looking at me for like confirmation. Hi Odi, how are ya? My new friend, I'm gonna name him Captain Charlie. Hey Charlie. What if it's a female? What, what? Can I pet you? It's friendly. You like the scent of me? Man, after all that grill, I probably just smell like barbecue. Sorry, we don't have any food. I don't know if you're thirsty, if you want some water. All right, Charlie, I'm gonna say goodbye. It's nice saying hi to the local, local <laughs> residents. <laughs> the local residents of Fujairah. <laughs> all right, Charlie, see ya. See you around. We leave our new camel friends and enter Fujairah, which is a more mountainous and rocky region of the UAE. Although Fujairah is the third emirate we visit, we've still covered a lot of ground because the last few emirates are actually more close together. 419, we're only seven minutes away from Fujairah. It's now 39 degrees outside. I'm guessing we're halfway-ish. Let's say 40%. We're making good progress, boys. Down there is Fujairah. Ah, Fujairah. This is where we're going right now. Airplane graveyard in Fujairah. Next to the city center, Fujairah. Yeah, the city center is right here. Fujairah, it's interesting. interesting. <laughs> All of Fujairah is built around this one strip of road that we're driving right now. Fujairah offers a lot of discount resorts for people who come to the UAE. 
The gas price in Fujairah is the same as in Abu Dhabi. We finally got our windshield cleaned thanks to this friendly gentleman. Yavor suggested we do some push-ups because we've been sitting all day. Yavor is clearly the biggest gym boy, smashing out 50 push-ups like it's nothing. It seems like somebody forgot their uh, keys. If you're watching this video, is here, here they are. Here's your key. In Fujera. In Fujera. The interesting place. In Fujera. <laughs> <laughs> on the strip. Station. All right, we just finished doing some push-ups here in Fujeda on the strip. Just get some blood flowing in our in our bodies. You need to crack up a little bit. Yeah. So next is uh, which one? Razal Kaima. Razal Kaima. Let's go to Razal Kaima. It could be an evil yeah. character in it... some Star Wars movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We once again hit the road and we head out to our fourth emirate, Razal Kaima. So many trucks here. This is like the ultimate truck pit stop. We pass by so many trucks in this area. Yeah, where would we be without the truckers, huh? Yeah, we'll be nowhere. Truckers, we love you. I want to marry a trucker. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch you marry a trucker. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so cool. We made a trucker friend. <laughs> John said he wants to marry a trucker. And we just find one guy who was ready on us. We had coincidence. We I mean, have to spend like nine hours in the car. We're just going crazy. I mean, like it's, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, we're, we're just gonna mind. I got this fantastic selfie with another trucker who was waving at me. So right now I'm searching what to do in Ras Al Khaimah, and I find the world's longest zip line is here. I don't think we have time for this right now, but man, I wanna go. What about doing all the zip lines in one video? <laughs> all of them. All the zip lines in the world. In, the <laughs> in 24 hours. We made it here in uh, Ras Al Khaimah. We're in Ras Al Khaimah. And the sun is setting right now. <laughs> Golf cinema, do you think they're playing Doctor Strange? I'm sure. Ras Al Khaimah is a cute little town, but right now we're gonna go to a beach called Titanic Beach to catch the sunset. Came all the way to Titanic Beach and it's closed. All right, so we just tried to go to Titanic Beach, but it seems it's already yeah. sunk. The helpful guard told us to just go the opposite way. We're gonna find another beach. We have like two seconds of two sunset seconds. left. And, but we managed to catch it. And we're in Razo Kaima on the beach. It really is the baby Dubai. Yeah. Baby Dubai. <laughs> Dubai baby Dubai. Discount, discount Dubai. Dubai, Dubai baby Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here with the last shred of light. I'm just checking the map. So our next stop is going to be Uma Okwim, approximately 57 minutes, around 80 kilometers, driving to there. Definitely we can cover the whole seven Emirates in one day. But as you can see, we're not just driving. Mm -hmm. We're stopping, taking our time, having nice enjoying, food, yeah. enjoying the place. I like that sound it makes. No, the sound is very sharp. Actually, it almost curved towards that. <laughs> it's actually almost curved. <laughs> we stayed at the beach, throwing rocks and just enjoying being boys. This moment kind of rekindles that inner child moment, finding some joy in very simple things. It is super fun, to be honest. We head back towards the car and by now it's very, very dark and our stomachs are rumbling once again. So it's time for us to find a new place to eat and fuel ourselves up for the last leg of the trip. We went to a place called Thunder Road Pizza and Grill. Exactly what we need. Yeah, bro. We literally came here because the name is cool. The interior was plastered with memorabilia celebrating cars, motorcycles and highways. They even had a real Harley Davidson decorating the place. Just perfect for us. I'm definitely eating inside. Let's have some food. So appetizer, we're starting out with a hamburger. They asked us if we wanted the large pizzas. We decided to take the not large. The regular. I'm happy we did that. This is the regular. These are, mass these are massive. I mean, we ate around noontime, a big feast, but now we're hungry again. It's been a long day. It's been like seven hours since we ate. 
for you as well. You've been driving. You've been distracting me with nice conversations, so it's all good. I was the official appointed navigator, and all I could find was a beach that was closed. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the highlight of our Ras Al Khaimah trip. So it's like pizza on top of pizza. A, a double decker pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, I would never stop in such a place if it was not recommended in advance. Yeah. So this is the power of online community. Really, like, this place is fantastic. Whoever is in Ras Al Khaimah on the road, they should definitely come and visit. Yeah. And the highlight of Ras Al Khaimah. Highlight of Ras Al Khaimah. You only have uh, 100 dirhams. We're in Ras Al Khaimah. Let's see how much 100 dirhams are gonna give us. And this is uh, Emarat. Oh, it's a different this brand. Is, uh, different brand. Yeah. So, let's see. Looking at our faces here. Oh, we look tired. <laughs> hey man, we have been driving for like, how many hours is it? Long time. I mean, we're not driving the whole time. It's exactly 12 hours since we met. But we have been driving, I can say, nine hours out of this road. Yeah, yeah. So, Easily. it was a little bit exhausting, a little bit tiring. Thank you. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. All right, stop it. So, uh, wait, wait for the gentleman to come back and... Uh... Oh, stop it. What are you doing? You crazy. You are genuinely right, making so... me concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our tank is super full. It's basically too full. Yeah, but we can assume that we have, like, at least two more meters. That's great. Yeah, this is super so Thank so. you very much. Thank you. You have been very kind. But just please follow John Bear. <laughs> What's your name? Vilshan. Vilshan. Hey. We are super full at the moment. It's beyond the line. <laughs> it's beyond the line. <laughs> how, how can you promise me this car is not just going to blow up when you turn it on? <laughs> All right, here we are, Red. Here we are in uh, Umo Queen, at Umo the most Queen? famous beach. Night already, and the water looks amazing. I found a box. Empty wooden box. I mean, it's nice. We made it all the way to Umul Umul Queen, Qui Gon Jinn. It's too bad it's dark already, but uh, what to do, huh? I guess the only thing left to do here on the beach is to have a rave. <laughs> We're way too full. We're way too full. We can't put more petrol. We are in Umo Queen. So 355. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's the same as Abu Dhabi here. We, we technically were honest. We didn't fill in every single Emirates, but uh, we're at least checking the price in every single. Otherwise, we wouldn't have come to this petrol station right here. <laughs> okay, we made it to Ajman. Ajman, baby. So this time we did not exit the car whatsoever. We just passed by <laughs> the petrol station. We were too full to put petrol. The gentleman came by and just said like, photo not okay. And we're like, okay, let's get out of here. So we have one more stop and that's Sharjah. Sharjah is the Emirates that's closest to Dubai, yeah, extension of Dubai, because like you won't see the place where the city ends and Dubai starts. We're not gonna exit the car here, because like this is the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. We're going back home. Going back to the place where it all started, all the seven Emirates. Yeah. And we did, we did one that. extra city, which is Alain. Alain, which we thought was an Emirates. We visit all the corners, we can call it this way. Petrol station. Hey, it's the same as everywhere else. It's the same as everywhere else. Ras Al Khaimah is the best price than everywhere else and Dubai comes as the most expensive petrol in UAE. But compared to the rest of the world, how is it ranked? Of course, compared to the rest of the world, it's two, three, two times cheaper at least. This dude's blocking the road with shopping carts. Like, we've got places to be! <laughs> we finally made it. This marks the end of our challenge. Seven Emirates, in one day. As we're driving through the familiar streets of Dubai, I couldn't help but reflect back on all the experiences we've had. It's been one hell of a trip.
trip, huh? It was incredible. <laughs> it's uh, 47 minutes past midnight. That's exactly 15 hours and a half. I hope after watching this video, you've uh, you've gotten a nice image of the UAE in general. Also something that I think it's very important to highlight is all the roads that we have been on uh, have been in very good condition. The GPS works well. Whoever wants to do a road trip in UAE, mm -hmm. um, they're never going to make a mistake. This day has inspired me to do more, plan more road trips. Yeah. And we're all talking, we're already talking about going to Saudi Arabia sometime soon. So Saudi yeah. Arabia or Bahrain or Qatar. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, bro, thank you so much. Take thank care. You so much. Thank you, thank you. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing and checking out all of the other videos that I've made. If you want to check out Pirate Tea for yourself, then there's a link down in the description that gives you 20% off, and it's a great way to support the channel as well as support Yavor. He has worked really hard to make this one of the most delicious teas that you can find, which also doubles as a sports supplement drink. Also, if you like the music in this video and you want to use awesome music for your own videos, then you're in luck because Artlist reached out to me to offer my viewers two months free if they sign up using the link in the description. That's right, you can get two Two months off with Artlist, unlimited music licensing. Personally, I've tried many of the music licensing platforms that are available and by far Artlist is the best in terms of how to find music as well as the music library quality. Thank you once again and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.